The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video and guys today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the brand new gauntlet solos that were added to the game today and guys you do have an opportunity to make a bunch of coins from this, get a bunch of free packs and also get yourselves a pretty damn badass Philip Rivers card at the end as well. So you guys see when you first log into the game, you click into Ultimate Team, you are going to see this little notification here in the top left hand corner that you do have an opportunity to get yourselves a Philip Rivers along with uh, some other stuff as well. Now, when you actually go in here and you click on play solo challenges, the first thing that you're going to want to go to is the gauntlet. So this is the, what, the fourth one over. And then you're going to go down here. I've already completed the uh, October one. So then you're going to want to go to the November ones. And there are 60 total challenges. Now, if you complete all of these, you're going to get yourselves quite a few free packs. And you're also going to get some elite players. You're also going to get that Phillip Rivers as well. So this is a good time. I think to go through and do some grinding if you're somebody that doesn't like to spend a lot of money on the game this is definitely a good way to build up your coins get yourself some nice upgrades to your Madden Ultimate team so let's take a quick look at these guys when you go in there's going to be uh, first of all I want to point out there's three different sets so the first one is going to be rushing passing and then defense most of us know the defensive ones are the ones that are the biggest pain in the ass but even if you don't do the defensive ones even if you decide that you're not going to do them you're going to give up on the Phillip Rivers I would still highly recommend doing the rushing and the passing ones because those are pretty easy to complete. If you have much of skill at all, you should be able to complete them fairly easily. So what you're going to want to do then is go in here and click on rushing. And guys, the first thing that you're going to see is that, yes, these are very easy to complete challenges. Like for this first one, it's just rush for 40 yards on a TD on the first drive. So basically, you're just going to want to keep running the ball repeatedly and picking up first downs and then get down there and score a touchdown by running. Um, and keep in mind, too, when you're doing some of these, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to run the ball every play. You just have to get 40 total yards of rushing on that first drive and then you have to rush it in from somewhere on the field so usually what I like to do is get those 40 yards right away and then if I get tackled and I don't break off a long touchdown run what I like to do is then pass down to like the one or two yard line run out of bounds and then run the ball in from the one or two yard line so that makes solo challenges like this pretty damn easy to complete um, but obviously guys when you complete this you're going to see that you're getting a whole bunch of nice little upgrades here so you're getting little contracts and things along the way some coins along the way then you start to get stuff like pro packs, which is great. Um, and then you're going to actually start to get even better packs like the all pro pack here. You're going to get that. And then toward the end, you're going to get uh, even better stuff. So if you get all the way towards the end here, you're going to get an elite player. So that's a guaranteed elite player for your team. Um, these are, I believe, auctionable and tradable, which is great. And then the second to final one for each sequence, or the third to final one, excuse me, is going to give you a game changer pack. So those are very good as well. So all in all, if you complete all of these solo challenges, all 60 of them, you're going to get yourselves over 100,000 coins. I think you get, what, 34,800 per set of them. So rushing will give you 34,800, then passing and defense will each give you that. You're going to get yourselves uh, 12 contract packs. You're going to get yourselves six pro packs, six all pro packs, three game changer packs, and three automatic elite players. So again, I think it's a great usage of time right now. If you're a grinder, this is definitely a time to go in and complete some solo challenges, get yourself some free stuff, and then obviously you're going to get yourselves that Phillip Rivers if you complete all 60 of them as well. So with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments section below if you think EA did a good job of upgrading this time because I think that they've made some better improvements for the actual rewards that you get this month. Uh, October wasn't great for rewards, but I I think even in the coming months, we're going to get better stuff as well. It's cool because it seems like they're going to add one of these every month. I mean, we only have two months to go off of for that, but I think that based on the fact that they're entitling it October Gauntlet, November Gauntlet, it seems pretty likely that they're going to have a December, January, and all the way through the rest of the year, or at least most of the rest of the year. So hopefully they do that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.